What's up everyone, it's Yo Stony. We are back here on Minecraft Bedrock Edition to show you the new and improved Stony Land. We are on season five now. It's been a while since I made a how-to video on Stony Land, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. But before we get into it, please make sure and like and subscribe if you're new. It really helps out the channel. It's really easy, it takes one click, and you can always unsubscribe later. So as you can see, I'm the baby today. So let's go. If you haven't added a server on Bedrock before, it's extremely easy. You just click this button, scroll all the way down, click this add server button, and then this is going to be the information you're going to enter in. The name is Stonyland, the server address is play.stonyland.net, and the port is 25565. Now this is a Java uh, Bedrock crossplay server, so if you are playing on Java, you will not need to enter in the port since this is the default port for Java. But if you're on Bedrock, make sure and change that to that. Go ahead and hit save, and you will get this little pop-up right here. Once you're there, just hop on in. We can just join the server right away, and we can show you spawn here. Now, I am on my alt, so I can show you guys kind of a little bit uh, difference of like how it looks when you're first starting off on the server. When you first start off, this is our server spawn. Right now, we have two different servers available. The first one is Survival, which is in 1.17. It's pretty self-explanatory for the Survival one. Whoa. Oh, we had a clear lag that was clearing stuff. So survival is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's just like previous seasons of Stonyland if you've played that before. It basically has claims you can set so your home stay protected, has TPA, it has home, it has all the regular features that survival has. But the new addition, which is the one that we're going to make a tutorial on, is factions. Faction is the newest feature of Stonyland. It is a brand new server in the server IP of Stonyland and it's been the most popular. Um, we've had a lot of people log on and play on this right now. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's been the most popular over um, the other ones right now, but I will kind of show you what happens when you first get in here. When you first get in here, you'll see this spawn. You'll read these things up here. Welcome to factions to get started. Read rules. That's always something important to do is type rules into your chat. Check them out. Go ahead and accept that you've read them. Oh, we had to type rules accept, I believe. Like that, and there, we're good. And so once you are in, hey look, it's Fluffy. Hello, Fluffy. Once you are in, you are in a factions. You can do a couple of things. You can, um, if you want to join a job, you can do that. That's all something that's really good to do. So what you're gonna wanna do is get a job, pick out one that you um, think that you'll make a lot of money at. A lot of people start off with a minor job because it's really easy to um, earn money that way. So go ahead and just type in the name of the job you want to. So type the same command you just did, jobs join, then do jobs join minor, and then you'll have that job. I think you can have two or three jobs. So yeah, definitely, definitely check that out. And once you are ready to go, you can either walk out into the spawn area or you can do RTP and find somewhere um, random and find somewhere cool to teleport so the spawn area there isn't much here and honestly you wouldn't really want to be right here at spawn because it's so close to where new people are going to be you might um end up being overtaken or your claim might be griefed so that's the thing about factions is in factions you are allowed to try and overtake other people's factions so you can try and raid their claim and kill all of their members and try and steal their stuff and when you do that it basically makes your track faction stronger and you want to try and compete to have the strongest faction on the server. So that's kind of the goal of this server. It's like survival except a little more uh, a little more PvP focused and that's pretty cool. Now like I said there's not much we can do around here at spawn so what we want to do when we first start was we're going to do RTP. RTP does cost a little bit of money. I believe it's $50 but um, you know, you start off with $100 in the bank, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Once you RTP, you'll be somewhere cool. We have custom um, biomes on this server, so a lot of the times the RTP that you're going to be going to is going to be something really whack and unique and crazy. Um, and yeah, we found a really cool place here. We're like on the side of a mountain, basically. So that's pretty neat. And so yeah, let's just go ahead and do the thing really quick. I'm just going to get some wood get a little crafting table and then show you guys um how you make a faction and how you set a land claim and do stuff like that so i'm gonna run over to that 
cursed looking tree over there and we'll get it all going. We are back and we have made a crafting table. We also managed to get convince the people on the server to sleep through the night. So that's kind of cool. And basically, once you find an area that you want to claim as your own, you're going to need to create a faction or join a faction. So we're going to create our own just to show you guys how to do it. It's really easy. You're just going to type F create and then you're going to type the name of the faction. So I'm going to do the name this faction. Cool. That's the name of this. Oh, we need money for a faction. Oh my. Okay, let's, so if we need a little, we need a hundred dollars for a faction. So that's why I suggested getting a job first. So you can have a little bit of money from that, but I'm pretty sure we can just sell some of our stuff in our inventory. All right, perfect. We were able to sell our bread. If you're ever low on money, you can type the sell command into your inventory and then type a specific item that you're trying to sell. So we could try and sell dark oak wood planks. It'll be kind of long to type in but we can sell it. We just got to type in the item and then um, once you hit enter, it will sell it. If it's available to be sold, this one does not look like it is. But as you saw earlier, I sold the bread. Once you have enough money to make a faction, you're going to type that command in and create your faction. So now we have a faction called Cool. Our faction is the Cool faction. And once you create a faction, you're going to want to claim some land. So in order to claim land, you're going to want to type F claim. But as you see, we can't claim land. We need more power. Our power is very low right now because we just started. And in order to get power, we need to do a couple of things. We need to kill monsters. We need to go mining for ores. And we need to, most importantly, not die. Not dying is a very crucial part to your power. When you die, your power goes down. That's why my power is already negative four. But... When you live, your power goes up and you're able to claim and do stuff like that. So give me one minute. I'm going to get my power up just a little bit so I can show you guys how to do um, create a claim and then also set your home, which is very important. All right, we are back. We've got some power. We've got some money. So now that we've done all of those things, we can go ahead and claim some land. So what you're going to want to do is type F claim into your game chat and then it will claim an area around that oh it looks like we need money in our bank as you see my faction stats my balance is zero even though my regular balance is a thousand you're going to need to deposit your money so what you're going to want to do is do f and then type the word money and then you're going to want to type either deposit or if you want to make it easier on yourself just type d and then type in the amount of money that you have that you want to put in there so i just gave a thousand so now we have a thousand in our claim. So if we retype F claim, you see we just claimed a little bit of land. If you want to check a map of like what you claim, F map works. And then you can kind of check the area here of what's claimed and what's not. This is obviously where we are and we have that claim. So that's what it shows. If you want to claim a bigger amount of area, you can type F auto claim like so. And then as you walk around, you'll start claiming area that you don't have claimed yet, which is kind of a nice way to make sure that your little area is all claimed and stuff. And we claimed a little bit. As you see, it costs more and more the more you claim. So definitely be careful doing that. To turn that off, just type F auto claim. As you see, it's now disabled. Once you have a nice little claim set, what you're gonna wanna do is make a home so you can get back here when you go traveling. So, you have to have a faction and a claim before you can do this, but once you have both of those things, you type F set home, and then you have to type in the name of your faction. So type F home set, or F set home cool. And now we have spent $30 and we set a home. So let's say we go way over here, we're exploring outside of our thing. Now we just have to type slash F home to be able to get back. See, as you can see, we are back there. It was kind of trippy because we were in the same area, but yeah, we are back there. You can also set warps. So let's say you go somewhere kind of cool, like, oh, let's say I want to come back to that cave over there. You can also set different warps that you can use to teleport to places. Default amount is three, which can be upgraded. So make sure you have claimed this area, first of all. Once that area is claimed, you can do F set warp and then type the name of your warp, cave. 
and there you have set the warp so now when you type f warp you'll have this little list here and it will show your um, list of warps that you can go to you can set up passwords and costs for other faction members in case you know you don't want everyone to go there go ahead and click that it'll take 10 seconds but in 10 seconds we will be right there make sure not to move or anything or open your inventory otherwise it will not teleport you and as you can see we teleported right back to the cave spot um, another couple things I want to show you about the faction server if you guys um, get a lot of money and you want to do some faction upgrades um, F upgrade pulls up a menu for you and this upgrade menu lets you spend money to kind of upgrade different things so like one I was telling you about was uh, where is it warps you can increase the amount of warps if you save up enough money it is a lot of money so definitely get a job as soon as you guys can because uh, you're gonna want to be saving up as much money as you possibly can to get some of these but yeah some of them are pretty cool reinforced armor damage increase is really OP damage reduction faction power if you want to increase that chest lots of different cool things that you can do um, to do things like that and another thing that you guys can also do um, you can set permissions for different members of your faction. So right now, I'm the co-leader, but if I invited someone else to my faction, they would join as a recruit. And recruits, when I type F perms into the chat, you can check out every single role and what kind of permissions they can do inside your claims or just in general. So when you click on that, it shows you all of the permissions that you can do. There is quite a few, so you're going to want to spend time going through these. But basic ones I like to allow my faction members to. I always like my recruits to be able to warp home so they can go to the faction main base. I also like my recruits to be able to build and to break so they can build um, inside of it. Uh, recruits I do not allow to container. I allow container for members. So if we type F perms again, um, we can have a member, the normal permission, this is member, I allow them to have um, containers. So just that way in case you invite someone to your faction who may not be trustworthy, they won't immediately steal your stuff. Oh my god, we're dying. Let me kill this monster really quick. We're on 1.8 PvP, so it's a little different on Bedrock. Or, and 1.8, we're on Java PvP, so it's a little different on Bedrock. And then... Um, let's go back to the F perms menu. So yeah, you have different perms for everybody. Moderator, your co-leader, if you decide to do a co-leader. And then perms. You also have perms for your truce uh, factions, your allied factions, enemy factions, and your neutral factions. So uh, that's basically all of the perms menu. Definitely go through all of those and make a look and see what uh, faction, what permissions you want your faction members to have. And other than that, that's pretty much all of the basic details. There's a ton, a ton of different commands for this faction. So if you guys want to look at them and kind of mess around with them, definitely check these out. Also, if you guys have any questions, definitely join my Discord. Uh, I'm always on the Discord and available to answer questions for you guys. And I know a lot of little tricks and things that can help you with your along your faction journey and um that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching the video today i hope you enjoyed make sure and like and subscribe if you made it this far it would mean a lot if you haven't yet and i hope you enjoy your time on stonyland factions it's a great server we have great people we have some really strong factions right now and i want to see who can become the strongest faction can anyone take me over can anyone take npc over i guess we'll have to find out and see won't we anyway guys Thanks for watching. Have a good one.